Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel this is DTech here I'm gonna show you Lineage OS 19 on my Samsung Galaxy S21 if you not subscribed please do subscribe it's gonna help me a lot please this is Lineage OS 19.1 I think 12.1 Lineage OS built for the Samsung Galaxy S21 now I'm just gonna show you how it looks like this looks like stock Android but AOSP so it's, it's using 120 Hertz so for the people who are thinking if 120 Hertz work yeah it works you just need to go in power settings go to miss and then then go to force FPS so 120 Hertz you can see 120 Hertz working fine here click on that and then go back and here is 120 Hertz working for you 5G doesn't work and um, hotspot doesn't work and rest all works fine it's the brightness it goes to the maximum I'm just putting it down because no one will be able to see it and this is just typical lineage OS it's not a lot fancy and I'm gonna take you to the next video which I'm gonna explain how to fix the CTS issue with this ROM and most of the ROMs which I'm gonna show you hopefully this is gonna be it so to do this it's the similar steps which I showed how to flash the ROM which I'll put the I button up in the corner how to flash it it's almost the same you just need to follow the steps but the thing is the play protect or the safety net won't pass so to make it pass what you have to do is install magisk which I have done you have to install magisk then you have to have magisk hide prop and human universal safety net fix so in, if you install only universal safety net it won't pass it will just pass the first one the CTS won't pass for the CTS to work fine you need to match your vendor and your security so security and vendor in in the con uh, magis config you have to match them so you have to go to your Terminex and then press SU once you grant then you have to do is props once you done props you'll get the list then what you have to do is 5 click on it I'm gonna give you two instruction which will build your the security and vendor so I'm gonna put it in the link down below just copy paste it once you copy when you hit on new put it here the security once you put that here I'm gonna show you just a second so these are the build config build security patch and vendor security patch this two I'm gonna give you in the link so what you have to do is click on this copy it after copying paste here on the new once you paste here you have to put the date so the date goes year month and date so you put 2022 dash 05 or whatever month it is whichever the vendor is match with the vendor do not match both together like don't do the vendor first and then let the vendor be to the exact date which the ROM released or whichever it has the one which is wrong might be the security or the vendor just match one don't match both and then you put your date say 05 and month say 05 match the vendor so you need to go to your settings if C CTS is failing you have to do this here yeah? 
so go to settings go to about and hit android version once you hit android version you're gonna get this yeah then you're gonna see your vendor and your security security here will be wrong like a different date at all like it will be a different date like so this two you need to match if once you match this two okay in the terminex once you done this and reboot it twice you need to go back so I'm gonna exit terminex I need I don't need to do different stuff because it's gonna crash mine as well so so Oh, sorry. And after doing both of matching both of them, you have to see if the date vendor and security should be both same. Then go to edit device fingerprint. Click on that and uh, pick a cert pick a certified fingerprint. So you need to go there and then select Google as a as the manufacturer and then set uh, Google pixel which will be 28 pixel 6 and then reboot it once you've done this that's it your CTS will be passed that's the only thing in this you might find banking apps not working and so and so and whatever won't be working on it like whichever after doing that what you have to do is place service and place to clear memory like go to settings like I'll show you go to settings place to press it press on the icon clear clear storage cheese and data do it all once you do that go, go to go in apps go to play services do the same once you do that and reboot it then check your safety net it will pass and lineage os i would say it's the perfect os for your samsung galaxy s21 or s21 plus if you like pure stack stock android i would say this is close to it i would not rec uh, recommend using pixel experience or pixel experience plus because it has only four hours and three hours of battery life on your samsung galaxy s21 so that's it there's nothing different in this it's almost the same it's very fast though and one more thing i just forgot about it go to power and go to music features and go to force fps so you can force 120 hertz 90 hertz and 60 hertz the only thing in gsi is the fps it doesn't go to 120 hertz you need to force it to go to 120 hertz and and that's it guys this is lineage os i just showed you how to do most of the things when you install Lineage OS on your Samsung Galaxy S21 just follow the steps of how to install a GSI ROM after that install Lineage and then go do build props follow everything so thanks guys if I help you please subscribe it will help me a lot thank you peace out